Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well, and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys how you can change your time frame in TradingView, so let's get right into it. Now, TradingView is an analytical site which you can use to get uh, trading analytics and market analytics and information about stocks, forex, crypto, or whatever you're interested in trading. And you can use these charts as you can see on my screen. Uh, now, what these charts are, they're super charts. And here you can see the changes of value depending on the actual date, time, or whatever it is, uh, how you would like to see it, uh, to see how it changed over time, to see if it rose or if it fell, and so on and so forth. Now, to actually uh, change the time frame of how you want to view this, since this does change uh, relatively often, uh, as you can see currently, it is uh, set by default to one day, and you can change this if you want to see either more general or more specific. Uh, and the way you do this is, as you can see here at the top, right in the top toolbar, this D denotes the day, uh, right next to the plus, that is the time frame where you'll, or the button where you select your time frame. When you click on it, you have the option to see which time frame you would like. You have one second, and if I click on one second, uh, here is the changes within one second, uh, or divided by one second. Each candle is for a different second. Uh, you can go all the way up to uh, one year or 12 months, and you can even, as far as I'm aware, go to custom ranges, which I'm not sure what they are. You do need to set them up. And yeah, the range actually is whatever you put down here. As you can see here, it's one minute. And within one minute, you can say days or weeks, and let's say range of 10 weeks. And that should show you across 10 weeks what the analytics look like. Uh, and yeah, that is pretty much all there is to it. Uh, I hope, well, it isn't technically, for some reason, it's just showing me uh, per six seconds. I'm not sure why it's doing that. However, that is, or yeah, no, here, down here, you can add it uh, or add a new time frame. And let's say it's for 10 days. You can easily just insert 10 days and click add. However, you do need a premium account for that. And yeah, that's in the essence all you have to do. Uh, you just want to experiment with it and see what it's like. And yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll be seeing you guys next time.